Good morning. In this video, we will uh, uh, install IBM and the web environments for quantum computing on a Linux virtual machine in order to be able uh, to work uh, uh, easily and uh, to do some experiments. In particular, for the IBM system, we will use as a reference this book that, in my opinion, is very good, in particular from the didactic point of view. Um, and, uh, uh, of course, we will use also the, the, the software provided with the book. So, at first, in order to install the virtual machine, the Linux virtual machine, we have to start from somewhere. And uh, uh, we could start from a, a new virtual machine, so installing Linux from scratch. But I prefer to start from an already installed virtual machine that I created for another course, in Italian, sorry. And this is the virtual machine. It is basically an 1804, uh, built uh, last year. And uh, you can find it at this uh, URL. Okay, so you can download this. Uh, please also note that the software for the book that I have just told before can be seen at this Dropbox, in particular from my university, Dropbox Business Account. This is uh, a version of the software slightly modified because the book uh, was uh, published about one year ago. And uh, in the meanwhile, uh, IBM changed slightly some uh, APIs. So I did some little modifications and so it is uh, a version that is uh, good uh, for uh, for now, so in these days, basically. Okay, um, so basically also, please also note that in this directory you will find, uh, now it's not present, but you will find also this video and also the virtual machine that we are going to prepare as soon as it will be it will be finalized. So at first uh, uh, we can start uh, with the virtual machines. So the first thing to do is to create a new virtual machine. Since I have told that I will not start from scratch, I will start uh, from uh, a starting point from a, an already existing virtual machine. So I will use uh, the virtual machine that I have just told you. This one, this one, uh, in order to avoid to download it from Dropbox, uh, I have already it on, uh, on uh, my computer, it is this, so we can do import appliance and import the file. It requires only a couple of minutes. During the video, uh, if uh, there will be too much uh, time required, I will uh, cut the video in order to shorten the video itself. But I will not cut any installation uh, issue or other things that uh, could be useful uh, for better understanding uh, what uh, we are doing. Okay, it has uh, finished. This is this. So I will change uh, the name in order to understand better. You see that I have uh, other virtual machines. So we can start with the new virtual machine. We can go in full screen. Okay. 
Okay. In this um, virtual machine, there is a user called the test. The password is test again. Of course, change it if you want to use it uh, in, a, in a way that can be uh, exposed uh, to external uh, threats. Okay, so we can slightly basically delete this directory because it was only for doing experiments. Okay, uh, so at first we have to update the system. Uh, please also note that uh, we are using uh, guest addition, an old version of guest additions, but it's not a problem for this. But I want uh, to use. Uh, to update uh, the, the packets. So I will do something like sudo apt apt update. Pass all this test. And then apt upgrade. Uh, okay, because it is already basically doing it. Maybe we can try again. Now, because it is already working, it is doing it in background already. But anyway, we can, in the meanwhile, copy. Uh, maybe we can check again. No, because it is already locked, because it is already doing it. Uh, anyway, we can uh, copy this file that we will need later here. Okay? In order to copy this file, we could download it from uh, Firefox. But we can also, very simply, use a USB key okay that's the USB key of course on Windows so I have to uh, amount on Windows then I can do this in order to attach the USB key on the on the Linux system and then I can copy this file maybe we can copy here and also Anaconda that we will need in order to avoid to download it because it is a large file in the meanwhile we can do a last try now it is uh, Locked from the front end. Okay, now I, if it is copied, we can amount it. Now it is still writing. Let's try again. is still writing. You can see. Okay. We can remove it. Of course it attaches again on Windows, but we can finally amount also from Windows. Okay, so in this way we have already prepared the material while we are updating the system and uh, we can put Anaconda here and the software for IBM, this is the book we have just seen so we can 
go on to the desktop and in the meanwhile we can prepare two directories IBM quantum experience and the wave because as I told before we will prepare two different virtual environment Python virtual environment able to use both of this so we can put one of them here the other here we can go inside IBM UX and uh, inside here in this, inside this we could uh, uh, expand the compress the file okay so we have also expanded uh, what we need and also we can in order to go faster we can would like only to try to do a last try now it is locked from, uh, from the system okay no problem I will wait um, okay and uh, I would like also since uh, we are anyway waiting um, yes, that's all, in the sense that for the moment uh, everything is fine. In order to install more things, uh, we have to wait uh, that uh, the packets are upgraded, because otherwise we risk uh, to, to do wrong uh, installations. Ah, uh, we have also to do this. We enable the bi bidirectional shared clipboard because in this way we can copy and paste from the Windows 10 to the Linux system without uh, uh, any difficulties okay that's all we have now to, to wait for we can also be sure about this okay is waiting perfect so we can uh, basically wait uh, for the upgrade process uh, to go on so I will uh, uh, we will uh, see as soon as it will be uh, finished okay the first part of the update uh, is uh, completed uh, so now we can install the material of course it will require some time okay the installation part is almost ended so we can do I we are not interested in installing grub so next continue without installing grub Okay, now the virtual machine needs to be restarted, and so we can restart it. Okay. 
it's working now we have to install several other software control plus to enlarge the terminal so it is bigger so we have to install to begin installing uh, a lot of things git so we can uh, get data Unfortunately, the, the internet link is not very fast, as you can see, so it is slow, but next one, the virtual environments of Python. That we will need. Next one, Jupyter, the notebook that we will use for, um, for managing IBM uh, data on, uh, by using the book also. another part of Jupiter. Next one, IPython 3. Now, FIM, that is for visualizing images. Then why improved? That can be useful as an editor. Okay. Then a library. Okay, now we can do on the desktop and install Anaconda that uh, we will not uh, use uh, directly, but it is important for doing uh, other experiments with IBM Keyskit.
we are installing it inside the home directory of the test user. Okay, now it, it is working. Uh, okay, now we can begin actually to use uh, the, um, the IBM system. So we are now on the desktop. We have created before a directory here for doing this. Uh, there is also inside uh, uh, the, this directory in which uh, uh, there is basically the software. These are the requirements for, uh, for the system. And uh, uh, this means that uh, at first uh, we have uh, to initialize the virtual environment. Okay. So Python three minus M virtual environment MQC. I am following uh, the instructions that are on the book, uh, page fourteen. Now. source mqc bin activate now we are in the virtual environment now i will execute an instruction that is not on the book That is for in order to guarantee that uh, the versions of the software are uh, the new one. Okay. Okay. Now we can. Verify the requirements. Now it is installing the probably the most important part, in particular Qiskit, because up to now we have not installed Qiskit. At first, num NumPy, because there are several libraries used example matplotlib okay while it, it installs this we can go from this side and uh, enter on in the in the IBM system now of course we need our ID This is mine. 
now it will require my password do not save okay it's going on okay so here we are inside the system and uh, you can see that on the right you have the quantum computers available through quantum computers, so hardware Melbourne, Essex, Burlington, London, Vigo, Reims, uh, Yorktown, Armon and so on and that this is the uh, simulator that works up to 32 qubits but it is a remote simulator in, in the sense that it works uh, on the IBM clouds okay? so we will see uh, very briefly how to use the remote simulator, so the IBM uh, simulator, one of the physical quantum computers, or a local uh, simulator provided by the uh, from the air uh, substrate from uh, Qiskit. Okay. Okay. So this is the situation. Let's go if is still installing. So we can continue. If you go here, my account, you can see this. That is uh, very interesting because this is the token that you need to insert in your code in order to run it. Because otherwise, uh, when you run some Python code, it would not be able to connect to the IBM computer because we have two possibilities to create. Uh, software on the IBM computer, remote, of course. The first uh, possibility is to use the composer that uh, you can see here, but we will not use. Uh, and the second is by using Qiskit. But Qiskit is a Python program, so uh, how the Python program can interface with the remote uh, IBM quantum computer by using a sort of protocol that requires a, a token. You can see, for example, the token in clear. Okay. Now I will copy the token and I will use uh, from the other side. When I press regenerate, the token will be changed. So, of course, that the token that you will see in this video will not be useful anymore later. So you will have to substitute it with your own uh, token. Okay, here is still uh, installing. Okay, it has just finished now. So basically we have installed the Qiskit and we can, here you see that there are the chapters of the book. We can do a first test. It worked. Okay, now in order to run the code, we have uh, to, to see the code, we will use uh, the Jupyter Notebook. We have already installed it, but we have still uh, to do some additional uh, steps that are on page 15 of the book. At first, we have to install Unfortunately, there is a lot of software to be installed. Please note that we are in, the Py in a Python virtual environment and we will use another Python virtual environment for the wave. So now... I am following the book now. OK. 
okay and now we can launch the Jupyter notebook we are at the end of this part of the video okay you see that we can maybe go full screen so it is better for this moment for example let's take chapter one if we go here this is a Jupyter notebook so it is similar to mathematics or other things like this so if you go in uh, in some position with the, the uh, pointer you can uh, underline it but if you go here for example where you can start you can uh, animate this code that is called the kernel but very simply you can go here and press shift and enter together and so you will execute the line okay now it will uh, try to use this and these are the credentials that uh, we have used that we have uh, seen before you can see that they start with 29c4 they are not the right one so i copy the new one now i will try to run it anyway it cannot work of course just a moment okay anyway now I copy okay just to be on the safe side I copy again okay okay now they are the right one please note that uh, this notebook now is in the state unsaved changes after some time it, cha it saves automatically but anyway if you want you you can save by yourself okay credentials already present it is okay it is working correctly now we will just to see which are the backends that are provided that are provided by IBM so we can find in the IBM Q provider we can see the software emulator or the true uh, IBM Q computer uh, while there are also some local backend given by AIR and from this you can take other things like QASM simulator now you can see that there is an error but this is a, a false error is due to some uh, basically timeout but we can see we can go on later it will work for example here it will uh, load you have to of course to read the book and uh, to read uh, this Jupyter notebook uh, you have to follow the instruction but remember that we have three different possibilities the first is running on the local computer with our support by using of course Qiskit. The second is using the remote cloud IBM that is uh, the emulator of IBM so basically uh, the, the Q, the, uh, the, this one has a simulator and, the and finally you can uh, set one of the uh, two computers okay you see that it is working uh, there is some uh, problem with uh, the network but i can assure the, you that this code works correctly okay anyway it doesn't matter i can assure you that it works uh, there is a, an http error okay and as soon as you have seen of course this will not work because there is not the support okay we can run again we can just do another test we can regenerate the code okay we can copy the code 
just to be on the safe side but I am quite sure because my connect the internet connection is very slow okay pb5 okay you can also save okay okay doesn't work but it will work don't worry okay and you can also see other examples example this one this is in local so it will work you see that is computing again everything for example here is uh, recreating the block sphere okay and so on you can also go on a more complex for example starting from chapter for example in chapter 10 if i remember well there is the Grover's algorithm of course here we are using the, the emulator of course here cannot work because it is uh, the wrong one but of course in this case is right okay we can do a last check here no it is still not working but don't worry it will work okay uh, okay that's all there are many other chapters globally 13 with the different examples but remember the important thing is that you have uh, three different possibilities the first is running on the local computer with the DR support the second is running on the cloud remote IBM support uh, again software but remotely on IBM facilities and the third possibility is to run on the remote uh, through quantum computer now I would like to do a last test just no doesn't work but I'm not uh, worried about this because it works okay there is a problem on uh, on the network for sure okay um, anyway yeah, I suppose uh, it, it was clear now we can uh, do logout leave the page close of course we should do the same with all of them but we can also close uh, Firefox close leave page control C shut down yes okay now we have finished with uh, the work so at the end we have to deactivate the uh, virtual the Python virtual environment and now uh, please note that here we are inside uh, the this directory the, now we will move on this directory in order to do the work the same work but with the wave so we go in desktop the wave now there is nothing okay so okay we will uh, uh, now uh, start uh, working with uh, the wave we have to prepare it uh, to download and to run everything let's uh, start by downloading by finding uh, the resources for uh, the wave and so we can simply search something like this because also the examples from the wave are on github you can see that there are many examples there is a lot of documentation i have chosen one of them just for sake of uh, 
commodity and here you can see that I can I would like to clone this so I can copy this I can go here now uh, you see that I am in the D-Wave directory and uh, so I can uh, do basically okay so I can clone uh, what I need inside this directory okay you can see that there is a directory there is also the requirements.txt file effect now I can create my virtual environment I give him the name DW now I can activate it exactly as I did with um, IBM you see from this that we are inside the virtual environment now at first I have to install okay now I uh, use the requirements sorry I have to enter here and uh, Please note that now it, it is actually installing the software from the wave. So the D wave Ocean SDK is installing now. Uh, exactly before, exactly as before, we have installed the keys kit. Now we are installing the D wave Ocean SDK. So if you want, since the, the virtual environment restricts the usage of uh, the, this kit this uh, SDK only to the specific virtual environment of course uh, you can uh, you should you must copy your programs uh, in the directory in which there is uh, the possibility to run the virtual environment theoretically now the following the requirements.txt file should solve uh, all the dependencies Uh, please remember that as uh, in the IBM system there is uh, a special ID that uh, we have seen here this one and uh, I have to regenerate it for example and then copy okay I can also uh, put it as not visible can regenerate so now the token has been regenerated and uh, in order to use this virtual machine you have to copy your own inside the Jupyter notebook otherwise it does not work the same also for the wave since now it is uh, still installing we can use this time to login uh, to uh, the wave system Okay, we uh, you see that is the leap uh, number two. Okay, and in order to log in, we can go here, log in to leap. This is my uh, email address. Now I can copy 
and write my password ok I am inside and you can see that is similar after all these are for example the last run that I did just to, to create this video and uh, uh, here there is for example the, the name of the solvers there is now a new hybrid solver this is the API endpoint these are all data that we will need uh, during the setup and in particular uh, I can see uh, the API token exactly as before for example like this okay there is also the reset as exactly as before please note that when you log in to the D-Wave system normally you have to also to insert a code an additional code that comes by using email so now it has not been required but you can uh, be required of this okay it is still uh, installing libraries required for doing this so we can see something more here in the meantime you see that there is uh, some uh, subscription uh, time for free please note that this is the free account you can also uh, have a paid account of course uh, please also note that both the license of license and the license of IBM and the license of uh, the wave uh, say that uh, if you develop something with uh, their computer since of course the usage is free they have also the right to use your ideas so of course from the commercial point of view it could be a problem but from didactic point of view is excellent because of course there are no particular problems and anyway you can write papers okay it has just finished it. okay so uh, here there is the api token uh, we can reset it then we can copy okay now we have to set up the system so we can very simply do the wave setup okay do you want to select the non-open source packages in this case no because uh, since I have to redistribute the virtual machine I cannot put non-open source packages but of course you can do okay configuration file not found file path okay it is okay create it yes uh, okay profile producer API endpoint which is the endpoint is this we can also copy directly so later we will copy the okay oh, then the authentication token authentication token is this so we do again copy it is written clear uh, def default uh, uh, client class is QPU the solver we can find the solver here again copy again paste configuration saved please note that as soon as you will use this virtual machine that I am going to give you of course uh, it will not work because your code will be different uh, uh, since I have of course to do a, a reset of this code uh, so you have to run again the way setup and insert again uh, the data of course your uh, new uh, data okay now we can check that everything is working it is working you can see that uh, is 
is correctly connected. Okay, perfect. And finally, we have also another system to check if it works correctly. The wave ping that actually uses uh, a little bit of uh, your CPU. Okay, it is using your CPU. We, c you, we should also be able to see it here. Okay, we should be able to see here. We can do something like this. Okay. You can see that now we have run a very simple, of course, uh, a very simple execution that has used uh, some very, very little amount of time, uh, a very, lit very, very little fraction of, the, of my available time. The same is for IBM. We have not used it because of uh, network problems, but it is exactly the same. Okay. Okay. So now we can uh, run our program, okay? Here we are inside, and so we can run our program. So Python, very simply, since it is a Python executable, we can run it. Uh, of course, uh, search on, uh, on the DWAY website what it's doing, but doesn't matter, it is running remotely. And it has created uh, two plots, uh, one and two. And this is the reason for which I have installed uh, this uh, program. So in this way, we can see the programs. It is very similar to VI. So in order to go to the next plot, I have to press N. OK, of course, we will not uh, see the details. So it is working. OK, now it's working. But please note that this is working on the remote hardware computer okay uh, so the basic idea now is to verify that if we do reset here it will stop working okay i have done reset so now if i run it again Actually, should have not worked. Just a moment. Okay. Just a moment. Okay. I can uh, guarantee that should not work. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. It will not work when you will use it, maybe. Um, but my idea now is to show you another thing. And so to show you what happens when you change the solver. So we will use it in this way. We can go full screen. Okay, this is the, the license, okay, so we have not particular problems. Um, if uh, you verify, here there are a lot of things that of course we will not see, but the important thing is this. This is the D-Wave sampler, okay, in which it is written QPU, QPU so the uh, quantum processing, processing unit. So at first, uh, I would like uh, to run it by uh, using another solver that is basically the QBSolve. It is a software one, just for curiosity. I would like just to run it again because I am very surprised. Ah, yes, it works. So as the... Um, the quantum computer is probabilistic 
Sometimes also the network you know is probabilistic and in fact uh, now it has understood that uh, my token has changed. Okay, so this is the reason for which now it does not work. Probably before the database with the token was not uh, um, updated correctly and so it worked at least for one minute or something more. In fact, it here it is clearly written token not accepted. Uh, in order to make it uh, accepted, we have to run again the wave setup and insert uh, the, uh, the, the right uh, value. Okay. But anyway. Let's uh, change the, uh, this one. So at first, uh, we have, uh, of course, to comment this. And uh, then here we can write something like this. So we can write inserting QB solve. Okay. From the wave. Sorry. QB solve. import qb solve okay and finally we can write sampler equal to qb solve so we have substituted this one with this one okay okay should be fine Please note that QBSolve is um, software-based, so not hardware, but is probabilistic also. So it requires a number of uh, iterations. And in fact, here it is written number of reads, readings, 10. Okay. We can change this, of course, uh, increasing this, uh, we will increase uh, the duration of the execution and um, also the, 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 the CPU requirements. Okay, should be okay. Now we can run it. Okay, now it works again, but uh, does not work on the uh, QPU. So here we could do something like this. Of course, it will show, I suppose, also the, the other two that uh, should have not Okay. Okay. You see that here there are a certain number of them, but now is no more this one. So the one, the, the last one was not executed on the QPU. Okay. Because now you can see is uh, 22 basically. Okay. Um, that's all. If you. Uh, want to show the images you can do and uh, they are basically the same the result is of course very similar if you want uh, you can increase uh, the number of readings Please note that this example is extremely simple. Okay. Okay, now we will change again the solver. We, we will use the third type of solver, but uh, this will be an exact solver. So it will have no more the number of readings. Okay. So we have to go here to put I am using VI but of course you can use uh, the editor you want for example nano okay now we have to change again the solver and we have to write something like this Of course, 
it is required to see the documentation to understand what I'm doing but here we are only doing some simple experiment okay so now we have substituted the sampler again the first was the, the hardware one the second is the software exact uh, sorry probabilistic and the third is the software exact solver okay just a moment i just check okay it seems okay and so we have uh, uh, cut uh, this uh, number of readings so i can run it again and if you see the final results uh, they are very similar Okay, of course I let you uh, see exactly the, um, the details. Okay, so we have basically seen um, uh, both of them. Please remember that uh, you have at the end to deactivate. So if you go on to the desktop now, we have two different uh, possibilities. The first is IBM QX. So, for example, we could do uh, something like this very briefly. Source um, MQC main activate. Ah, sorry, big mistake. Okay, and now uh, doing all the other steps that I have seen, uh, we should uh, be able uh, to start uh, immediately. We can try if I, maybe it works directly, just for curiosity. Okay, sorry, it's still not working, but I can guarantee you that it works. Anyway, this is the first uh, solution. Okay, this is the problem basically. Okay, Control C, yes, deactivate. Uh, while for the second, can go here okay I can do basically the same uh, sorry um, sorry uh, uh, uh. Okay, now we are in the other environments, and so if we go inside pipelines, I can, uh, after doing uh, some experiments, uh, run. Uh, please note that this was run on the the software side. Okay, so this uh, concludes. Uh, the, the video. Please remember that when you use this you have absolutely to insert this data on the way by using the wave setup and for the IBM you have to insert this in the same way directly into the Jupyter notebook. Okay that's all thanks uh, for your